Hello and welcome to Soul Symbols. My name is Shelley. I'm a writer, an astrologer, and a card reader, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Happy Tuesday, and it is How to Tarot Tuesday. And what this is, is uh, How to Tarot Tuesday is a video series that I host every week. And what I do is each week we focus on one card from the 78 card uh, tarot. And the beginning of the video, I dedicate time to talking about the symbolism in the card. And then the second half of the video, I let you, the viewer, choose from one of three tarot decks. And I go ahead and pull and, and I do a, a card reading to, say, uh, to show how that card manifests in your life. And we, we do one card a week. And what I also do is that as you know, the three decks that I pull for the card reading, I go with the image that I think best describes the card in question, the card that we're talking about. And this week we get to do a, a, a really fun card. Um, we get to do the, fi the Five of Wands. And it's funny, you know, when I first started tarot, I never thought that the Five of Wands would be my favorite. But there's a lot of things that I really love about this card. And uh, the interesting thing is that um, I've, I've said before in other How to Tarot videos, um, sometimes I have to kind of audition my decks. <laughs> I have to, when I'm going through and I'm deciding which deck I want to use, I sometimes have to pull out the decks and really kind of compare and see which one I think is the best image. But uh, I knew that this, this uh, card in particular, I knew the Five of Wands was going to be an easy one because I knew the three decks right off the bat. Uh, the first deck that I always use is the traditional Rider Wade Smith, but uh, today I knew the other two decks right right in my head, off the, right off the bat. I knew I wanted to go with the Witch's Tarot from by Ellen Ellen Dugan, and the Anna K Tarot. And I'll go ahead and get started. Um, if you ever want to jump straight to your reading, the timestamps are always in the description box below, as are the name and authors of the decks and materials that I use. So the Five of Wands is a fun card. It is, when you look at it, you see five kind of pages. And again, you know, we've, we've looked at pages in, you know, when we've done readings on my channel or anywhere if you, if you pull tarot for yourself. Um, you have what looks like kind of page-like people. Um, there are five people wearing kind of tunics, right? They look like they're younger. They don't look like they're knights or kings. And each of them has a staff, a, a wand, that is of, of equal height and equal length. Um, they're all wearing different clothes different colors and goodness knows you know in 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 olden times and even today you know it almost like the um almost like the uniform of a team you can kind of discern what house you were from or what team you're from by the the your uniform and so all five of them look like they have different uniforms on uh, the ground at their feet is kind of barren looking it's very brown it doesn't have very much green or growth so again you kind of feel like um, you get a sense of competition and you get a sense of just kind of a little bit you know of conflict from this card uh, the wands are all sprouting so that means that there is growth but it's in its in in its beginning stages and you just see that there's looks of just real seriousness on everybody's face right it doesn't doesn't necessarily well maybe this guy he looks a little happy right but yeah it definitely just looks like everybody it looks like everyone's in the fray so that is you know when when we speak of wands um you know with we've how to tarot on the the ace of wands the two the three and the four and as you know the wand suit is about it's about energy it's about the uh, vivaciousness it's about passion it's about um, activity it's physical movement and so with the five of wands you want to you know you think of you know you think of it as everybody being in in a situation together so just like with the ace of wands maybe you you know the ace of wands represents a new idea or a passionate new thought but here you see five people with five wands <laughs> so you can kind of think of it that way is like okay um you know the five of wands can mean that everybody has their own ideas and they're passionate about that ideas that idea and 
then they come to a place where you know there's barren ground right so the five of wands can definitely mean being in conflict um, it usually means that maybe you're in a situation where everybody is at cross purposes um, either that or you're in a situation where everybody wants to get their idea across and it's you know it's coming at it's coming at cross purposes cross purposes to your idea maybe it's blocking your idea or or causing chaos um, so in that vein you know it definitely means disagreement um, the fact that everybody seems to be of the same age and everybody and just to say it bluntly everybody's rod is the same length <laughs> um, it definitely means it means equal conflict right it does it means competition and what I think is interesting about the Five of Wands is that the number five in numerology means, um, it means communication, but it also means change. It's usually a number of instability, right? It means, you know, it means things are getting stirred up, so something else new can come from it. And the fact that it means change in communication definitely can mean, it can mean, you know, being at the negotiation table, right? It can mean, you know, maybe you're, maybe you work in politics or maybe you work for a company that you, when you, when you sit down and have to kind of hash out details. Um, sometimes in negotiations, you really do have to hear the other person's point of view and maybe the other person's point of view is equal to yours or in conflict to yours. Uh, the other thing is sometimes it can mean that, you know, again, with it being wands, it could be about resources. Maybe one, one group wants money for their project and you want money for your, your project and you almost have to kind of battle it out. Um, in that same vein, it can be, it can be being, um, you know, the other thing that I think of is it can be um, competition in a sports sense. Uh, the number five in the major arcana represents the Hierophant. And we did How to Tarot on the Hierophant. If you ever want to watch any of those videos, I have a playlist for How to Tarot here on my channel. But if you watch the Hierophant one, we talked about how it can mean um, working, working for the status quo, right? It means ad adhering to the rules. And sometimes when you adhere to the rules, it can be in a sense of, of, of sportsmanship, right? And when you have wands, which is energy and power, this can definitely be competition in a sports sense. So maybe if you play in sports, maybe you're watching sports. Um, in a more modern sense, it could be you rooting for your team or watching the Super Bowl. Um, or it can mean that maybe you're in competition with someone else. Maybe someone else is, you know, talking trash about your team because you're, you, you know, you're the, your two teams are opposite or in conflict. Um, it can mean, you know, it can definitely mean being embroiled in a debate, you know, or, you know, being at, again, at odds with other people. Uh, the other thing that I really see a lot is that with the traditional Five of Wands, again, with their face being so serious, a lot of times it can mean that you're quibbling over details. Like maybe, you know, one person is, is holding out for one thing, and again, this can be at the negotiation table too. Um, and in that same vein, it can also mean that somebody is irritating you, right? Someone's just being, you've ever heard the expression, a burr and under my saddle? You know, someone is just, they, they keep popping up with what they want and it's throwing off your plans and it's just becoming an irritation. Um, a lot of times when you see the Five of Wands, it can be somebody picking at you about stupid stuff or what you deem to be stupid stuff. Like maybe you're doing something really important and someone comes up and fusses at you about how, how you loaded the dishwasher or, you know, why, why did you leave the laundry detergent out or, you know, stuff like that. It can, in, in a home sense, if you're seeing it around um, cards that mean home. Now, when you look at my second deck, and this is one of my favorite cards in the Witch's Tarot, um, you see a lot of that same kind of competition. Um, in this card, I think it's so awesome because what it is is you see five different dragons, right? 
and again it almost looks like a competition right and just like just like with the traditional Rider Waite Smith you see everybody wearing different cloaks different colors so it does again it looks like it looks like a fierce competition but I like this card because this kind of transfers right into the secondary meaning of the five of wands which is the thrill of competition right um, the Five of Wands can mean um, that you are in competition with people of equal rank. Meaning that, you know, uh, what I love about it is that when you look at all three of these cards, that's the nature of the Five of Wands. You don't know who's going to win, right? Everybody comes to the, to the arena, <laughs> comes to the arena with, you know, they all have dragons, they all have spears. Who, who's gonna win right and sometimes there's a great thrill you know just like in the theme of you know sportsmanship sometimes there's it can mean that you know and again depending if if you saw the five of wands next to the six of wands that really would mean like you you're looking to win right you're ready for the competition you want to go in and you know it's almost like you're looking forward you're 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 jonesing you're juiced for the challenge now, in that same vein, it can mean that you're going up against an opponent. Like maybe there's something, again, in a work context, um, like if you saw this next to the Three of Pentacles, it could be someone who, um, just like we said, maybe someone has a project that they want to fund and it's of equal, you know, it's on the con consideration, t you know, table, it's on the roster to be, you know, one person will get funded and one pe person won't, so you're in competition. Um, the other thing is in a love vein, uh, it can very much mean a competition between males. Um, Again, if you're interested in somebody and you feel like maybe if you see this next to the lovers reversed or something like that, um, it can definitely mean that you feel like somebody else that you have competition, that someone else might be interested in the person you're interested in and you have to kind of go up and be better than that person. Now, the other thing is with, with as virile, virile, you know, virile, sorry, um, can't speak today, um, so again, if you see this next to the sun or something that, you know, kind of indicates a lot of male mojo, it can definitely mean sowing your oats a little bit, like, you know, in the dating sense, because, you know, a lot of times you would think, okay, what is a competition card doing in a dating context? But when you think about it seriously, you know, when you're, when you're hanging out at the Circle K and you're trying to catch the attention of that cutie, but there's three other guys around, I mean, what do you do, right? I mean, we, we are here human animals, right? Just like the male peacock has the prettiest feathers, you might come up and seriously, you know, again, it might it by, might be you, you know, stepping up, rising to the challenge. Now, um, it can also mean like if you see this next to like maybe the Knight of uh, Cups, it can mean kind of sowing your oats too. Because um, again, you know, getting that person's number, getting that person to go out with you can definitely be a conquest. It can be a challenge. And if you win, if you kind of, you know, you know, beat out the competition. Now, the other thing is, it's in that same kind of event, um, you know, when I went with the third card, the Anna Kay, it kind of goes with that same theme. And I, I really love her depiction because you see two men doing um, arm wrestling, right? And then you see people watching, right? And you even see kind of a young person who's kind of looking up to this person, like, wow, what are they doing? And I'm sorry, it's a young girl. But, you know, it's almost like she's, you know, cheering on her father. But um, so in that same, you know, in that same meaning, which, you know, again, all three of these images give such different and, you know, uh, spot on descriptions of the five of wands, is that you might be trying to outdo yourself. You, you can see that these two men are kind of older. Um, this is the one card of the three that doesn't show um, novices. It doesn't show, it doesn't show young men. It doesn't, this shows older persons. So a lot of times you can feel like you're trying to outdo yourself. Like maybe you, maybe, you know, he hadn't armed wrestled in a long time and he wanted to know that he could still do it. Um, you know, you're kind of, you know, sometimes it can mean that you're looking for a fight, you know, like you see a lot of movies that talk about arm wrestling where you know someone was just feeling really down and out they were feeling scrappy <laughs> and it's like well I'm gonna prove myself you, you know out 
go ahead. So you might be jonesing for a fight too. You know, you might be, um, if you've ever seen the cartoon Scooby-Doo, you know how there was a little character, a little dog named Scrappy-Doo. And sometimes I think of that and you know, let me at him, let me at him, you know. So sometimes the five of wands can definitely mean that you're looking, you know, <laughs> you're looking to get, you're looking to jump into a fray or, or a fight. Um, the other thing is that you can be, you know, this could also mean that you have a rival. Um, that's one reason that I really like this card is because it can mean, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you have, um, I mean, a lot of times it does mean that there's several people involved, but sometimes just like with that relationship scenario, maybe you just have one other rival and you really want to beat them, but the energy is equal, you know, the energy is equal, you know, again, who's going to win, who's going to win. Now, one of my favorite um, depictions of this card, or one of my favorite interpretations too, is also when um, sometimes when you, someone is being a real upstart to you, like maybe you are good at something and then someone younger comes along and is like, okay, old man, okay, old lady, you can't do this. And so you do, it can be something as simple as a dance off or, you know, you know, I, I've seen a lot of videos. I saw the other day, you know, there was this video where this dad started dancing with his teenage daughter and he had some rhythm, <laughs> you know? So sometimes the five of wands, and that's one of my favorite interpretations is sometimes you're really just kind of proving yourself. You're like, okay, you know, okay, you think I can't, you know, you think I'm too old for this or you think I can't do this? Here, step aside, you know? The other phrase that pops in my head, and I know it's a little bit of a, a colloquialism, but, you know, anytime someone says, you know, sit your ass down, <laughs> you know? <laughs> kind of like step aside <laughs> you know that's what I kind of get and again you know this is you can see I'm getting jazzed you know the, the the card has a lot of energy that emulates off of it so when it comes you know the five of wands upright in that same vein it can mean that you can step up to a challenge um, it could mean that you have too many irons in the fire or you have too much coming at you um, sometimes it can be overstimulation and you know feeling overwhelmed um, again with everybody being an equal equal energy um, sometimes you can feel like you're just everything's coming at you at once it's kind of I, I think of it as the Monday morning checking your email kind of <laughs> kind of feeling and then, you know, sometimes it can be legal complications too, you know, um, where you're just a lot of red tape or you're just trying to get through things and you're just, you're hitting a wall at every turn. Um, you know, but, uh, and also, you know, it can also mean that it can be a physical activity too. Um, when it comes through, you know, so like a physical activity, like maybe you practice martial arts or you do some kind of energy, maybe you're, you're a fencer, or you know, or you might even do the pole, the pole vote, uh, pole vault. Sorry, that's a hard thing to pronounce. But definitely, when it comes to people, when you're when you're asking about a person, it definitely means um, competition. It means competitors. It means rivals. It's someone who instigates. You know, someone who's kind of instigating something it might be someone who's, you know, using dissension with you, might be condescending and making you feel like you want to step up to the fight. Um, it can be, you know, someone who practices martial arts, uh, it can be sports teams or watching your favorite sport. And, you know, but then overall, it can just be, you know, somebody who's keeping you back or standing in your way. <laughs> now, um, when you look at the five in reverse, again, you know, any energy that's in reverse is either dissipating or it's becoming more prominent. So when you think about it dissipating, it could be that maybe this was, um, this was a competition that really, um, so the five of wands in reverse, it could have been a competition that really had all of your focus, but now you're just kind of like, whatever, let it go. So that can be that energy moving out. Maybe you were in competition with someone and they either won or you won or, or, or maybe just all of a sudden it's just not that important to you. You know, maybe at the time you really felt like it was a battle that you wanted to fight and now you're just like, ah, whatever, you know, let it go. 
Now, it can also mean healthy, again, it can mean healthy competition. You know, it can mean favorable changes as well. Maybe there was some kind of situation that really caught you know, um, if you see this next to the justice upright or you see the six of wands upright and the five in reverse, it can mean that you were actually victorious at what you set out to do. And now things are getting better. Things are getting less frustrating. You know, it can definitely mean opportunities. It can mean an opportunity that came out of a kind of a conflicted situation. And now, you know, also in the negative respect is that it can mean, it can mean that there was a lack, it can mean a lack of faith in your ability to compete. Maybe you see this challenge in front of you, but you just feel like you're not up to the task or, you know, maybe you're injured or something like that and you just feel like you cannot, you know, you can't fight this battle right now. Um, it can be, um, it can definitely be unfair tactics. Like sometimes it can be someone hitting below the belt, you know, it can be someone taking advantage of, of you know, of their leverage over you. Um, it can be flat out malice, like maybe there's a conflicted situation and someone is really playing dirty, you know, like they'll do anything. It's almost like victory at any cost. Um, sometimes it can be trouble with con contracts or, you know, again, feeling overwhelmed. Um, and then, but most of the time, it definitely just means, especially in the reverse or in an extreme, I, I usually see it as just really petty annoyances. Like you're just, again, you just, you know, if you saw the five in reverse next to maybe the four of cups, you're just, just over it, hashtag over it, just don't want to deal with it because it's that annoying. Um, the other thing is that it can, it can be people who are trying to engage you in a fight that's really not worth it. Like it's, it's the drama-rama people, right? You know, maybe someone's being drama for no good reason and you just don't want to deal with them. That can also be, you know, the, the five of wands in reverse. But, and one last, you know, one last energy as well is that when it's in reverse, you do want to be careful if it, if there's anything that's hidden it can be a hidden conflict or a hidden um, opposition uh, or an enemy that has not shown themselves. But definitely, if you see any of those type of cards next to positive cards, that means that things will reveal itself in good time and that you'll be okay. But as you can see, that is why I like the five so much. <laughs> it definitely, on, on, on first impression, you would think that it doesn't mean as much as it does, but it really packs a punch, you know, all pun intended. <laughs> and um, that's, and again, these three decks are probably my three most favorite images of, of all three of them. So on that note, I will go ahead and give you a minute to choose your cards or choose your deck. Um, the first deck is the A.G. A. G. Mueller uh, Rider Waite Smith, and with it I've paired a Sunstone. And the middle deck is the Witch's Tarot, and with it I have a beautiful Citrine. And with the third deck we have the Anna Kay, and we have a Smoky Quartz. So I will, I do ask that you please choose from your intuition, and if you need more time please pause the video, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. Go ahead and we'll move our other decks up. Move our other decks up. Okie dokie. So deck number one, Rider Waite Smith. How does the Five of Wands manifest in your life? <laughs> Again, I was kind of looking forward to this card because, you know, let's see what, what competition's headed your, headed your way. Deck number one. How does the Five of Wands manifest in your life right now? Oh, <laughs> temperance. You're not looking for conflict, deck number one. You want some peace. <laughs> so currently, the Five of Wands, how does it manifest? Thank you, we're getting flippers, guys. That's a straightforward message. And then the future, how does the, oh, it's four cards. Go ahead and we'll take them. 
try not to let it get too too drawn out but all right guys so deck number one the five of wands again in the past you got temperance you got temperance so the in the past um you have you have um a lot of divine guidance you keep things very very on the level um, to be honest, you don't like conflict. <laughs> you don't like conflict. You, um, you, you'll, you'll step up to it when it, when it, when it comes to you. But um, on, on the whole, you like keeping the peace. And I actually get that it's kind of your spiritual mission to keep the peace because you definitely you see this angel here, you know, that that is mixing. It, she's calibrating. She's you know tempering. She's making equal the two energies. And, um, and, and in temperance, the two cups um, contain fire and water. And, you know, wands are a fire thing, right? So definitely, again, you know, I, I think that it isn't that you, you know, you, you won't avoid conflict. If it finds you, you'll, you'll face it. But um, if it comes to you, you'll face it. But on the whole, you're used to being a very peaceful person. You don't instigate. You don't instigate. If anything, if, if there's conflict going around you, you try to calm it or find a solution to it. And I'm definitely getting a vibe that you find a, 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 a peaceful solution that meets both needs, right? Like if it's a conflict between people. Now, presently, and in the present, you got the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is, and we How to Tarot just a little while ago. This is the, the How to Tarot for this card is in my playlist. But um, remember how we talked about, um, if you watch that video, um, the Two of Wands is you're, you're deciding about your future right now, right? You're planning. You had a great Ace of Wands. And now you have a new idea or you have a new plan in mind, right? And again, this new plan, you really feel like it's gonna give you the world. It's gonna give you the world. Now you haven't taken action for that plan yet, right? You haven't taken action for the plan, but you're thinking about it, you're thinking about it. And it's a great idea. But the thing is, is that when you take action, it's gonna take you away from what's established, right? You see that this wand is bolted to the wall. And you were safe up up in the top of the castle, right? So where you are right now, you're very safe. You have not, you haven't entered into any conflict yet. But I think, well, this is present and it's right under the five. I think what's gonna happen is that you are looking to start something new and you know that there's gonna be there's gonna be opposition to it. This wand, in the past, you always you kept the peace. And you probably I'm getting the vibe as if you you probably sacrificed some things that you wanted or you didn't you might not have done things your way in order to keep the peace with other people and now you are strongly contemplating there's something there's some action there's some future that you want and it's going to give you the world and the, but the, you just know because again you're thinking about it you're planning for it you know that it's going to it's going to create it's going to create pushback you're going to get pushback and the thing is, I really think that you're going to get pushback from a lot of different people. <laughs> and um, strange enough, I'm, I'm, I don't see any family cards, but I'm getting kind of a family vibe. I'm getting a family and friend vibe. It's almost as if your family and friends are going to be questioning you. And I'm kind of tying these two cards together. I'm getting a strong correlation. And what it is is, you know, you've ever seen it when you're the peacekeeper, when you hang out with your friends? Because of course, when you hang out with your friends, the reason that you're, they're your friends is because you have similar things in common. And when you hang out with your friends, you're talking about those similar things. But then all of a sudden, you know, if you go off and do something different, they'll be like, hey, what up, bro? Why, why, you know, why, why are you doing that? Why are you dating that person? You know, why are you doing this? Also, the same thing with family, you know, the family members. Um, and sometimes that can be you showing your hand a little bit too. Like when you go after something, your family and friends might be like, okay, you're doing this, you know? But again, you know, the five being a minor arcana card and it being, you know, and it, it also being change and challenge, it isn't, um, it isn't like, it's not unexpected 
and you're willing to face this challenge again you're almost, you're up to the task you'll you'll step up to anybody who opposes you but what i'm getting is that it's just going to be it's going to be annoying because you want to do what you want to do again this is a singular card this is one person and you see how nicely dressed he's he's like ready to go on an adventure and he knows what he wants to do but then as he goes on that adventure he's going to run into a bunch of people like it, it's almost like you know he he steps up with his staff and then all all these other five people are going to start you know staff fighting him like you know you know um, so again, I, I do, I'm getting a minor kind of pushback, but I am getting like an annoying one. And I do get the sense like you'll have to defend, you'll have to defend your choices. And that, that makes you, you know, again, if you've in the past, you've always kind of gone along with the status quo. Remember how we said the fives are like the Hierophant, you've gone along with the status quo. But as you move into the future, I'm seeing that you you come down. You're coming down out of this. You're going to come out of the down out of this ta tower, and you're going to go after the second wand, guys. I, I see this. You're planning it now, and you're going to do it. And as you follow your future, um, you are you are going to get some mixed things. First off, you are highly intelligent. You know what you're doing. You you planned out. You planned out this rod, your rod plan, you, you planned out to the T. You knew what you were gonna do. You, you plan it's almost like you, you hashed out every contingency that possible. Like you thought, okay, if this goes wrong or if that goes wrong, then I'm gonna do this instead. But you are still on that path. You're still going where you wanna go. You're still gonna get your world. And guess what, guys? That world in his hand, that is the world card. <laughs> and you are, you're gonna get your world. You're gonna get your world. Um, this is really an exciting pile. Now, what's gonna happen is you are gonna go after that world, you're gonna, and, but you are gonna get the pushback. The, it's almost like the pushback that you're anticipating. It's gonna, everything that you anticipated everything that you thought would happen every person that you thought was gonna talk smack they're gonna talk smack exactly you know you again you know how this is gonna play out it's and it's almost like you think of when we talked about sports it's almost like having that sports plan you you know if you do this play that someone's gonna try to sack your quarterback you you saw it coming and you know you know the players involved and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna unfold that way it will but you are going to get your world which is great you're going to close up that cycle and you're going to get you're going to get the conclusion that you want now the only thing is is that and the thing is you got some beautiful cards here guys but um in between you got the four of wands and we just we just had a tarot last week on the four so you are you're going to get this victory i'm so you're gonna you're gonna reach that conclusion you're gonna and you're gonna have a sense of freedom from it you're gonna have a sense of freedom like it's gonna give you you're gonna live in a new way it's gonna be them you're gonna reach your milestone but the only thing is you are gonna feel a little bit trapped and my eye is really going to the swords in this card and what I'm getting is I'm, I'm getting a sense that you knew this was gonna happen and the fact that you have a sword here you're ready to this the king is very wise and he knows how to defend himself verbally he knows how to defend and these are his thoughts you are going to be very very ready to defend your thoughts like people are going to be questioning you why you made this choice and this choice is really bring you a look at that guys i mean this choice is going to bring you some serious happy it's gonna it's giving you the world but the only thing is is that you are going to feel a little trapped in your thoughts when you get this world and it's going to be because of this competition i think i think what's going to happen is you're gonna I, I do i get a sense like it's family and friends like you might you might bring on some criticism and you might get kind of up in your head about the criticism you're going to feel a little trapped by these what people are saying about you but I don't see that lasting long and definitely the world is a completion of a cycle it um, whatever falls out from this 
you're going to be able to manage you're going to be able to manage no one nobody nobody trash talks the king of swords like seriously they'll they'll look like a bunch of children if they even try so but um but it is going to leave you kind of stuck in your head um the only thing i can think of is that you're going to have all this happiness and it's almost like the happiness is what's anchoring you you see how the two happy cards are on either side it's keeping you anchored but you are you are going to have a lot of you're going to be up in your head about this every moment because because of course when you have people around you that are your friends and your family when they're in your ear and being like why are you doing this you are going to take it to heart right you are you're going to think okay well did i do the right thing but then you're going to be so happy that you followed what you wanted to do that you're you're gonna you're just going to be a like a sentinel you're going to stand guard against your decision you're going to stand you're going to stand up for your decision. But I I think that you will get unstuck eventually. I think this will die down again. The other thing about the five, it's a minor. It doesn't last forever. And that's a really bright future, though, guys. You get your four in the world. So that's a really wonderful read. Wow, guys. That's a great five of wands. <laughs> and you can see why it's such a fun card. It's definitely different, right? All right, so let's move in right along. Let's go on to our second deck, the Witch's Tarot with the Citrine. So, um, and all of our dragons, our dragons. That's, I love that card. It really is. I, you know, I almost wish this deck were bigger because it's kind of a mini deck. And because um, I'd love the, de the detail of it. It's just really, really cool. But deck number two, how does the Five of Wands manifest in your life right now? Or manifest for you? Wands. How does the? Oh, thank you. Wow, we're getting quite a bit of cards. Oh, thank you. Okay, sorry, we're getting a lot. Getting a strong page of wands. I'm going to keep that one. So, future. How does the five of wands? Future, please. One card, please, if possible. One card, if possible, for future. Oh, <laughs> you, got, you got two. Oh, gosh, guys. Okay. All right. So, Five of Wands, deck number two. How is the Five of Wands manifesting in your life? So, in the past, we got the Five of Cups. And, gosh, guys, this is a, this is a, a card of... Uh, it's, it's like that boon card. It's the, you know... She, you have nine cups, right? And you have all this fruit. So you definitely know those those cups are full of wine, right? She's pouring wine. So it is, it's almost like having more than enough. It's in the past, you've had more than enough. So it's it's almost like I'm getting a real sitting pretty kind of feeling. Like in the past, you you were you were unchallenged, right? Maybe you were you were in the position of being again, I'm getting the, the, the phrase sitting pretty is coming through loud and clear. So maybe you were in a good position at work or maybe just in a good position at, in life where you were very you had more than enough right you're again it's almost that you know uh over indulgence kind of you have more than enough and it it, uh, it it makes you seem wealthy it makes you seem you know like you have more than what you need now in the present you got you got the hermit and you got the two of pentacles so definitely what I'm seeing here is that um, maybe in the past, um, maybe in the past uh, you, maybe in the past you let somebody know that maybe you have a good amount of money and maybe someone got wise to the fact that you have a lot. Like again, you know, when you have nine cups, you know, is she going to drink all of that wine or is she going to share it, right? You know, so I've, I get the feeling, and again, with, with all of the dragons, you know, you, you think, you know, there's several TV shows that you've talked about, you, you know, that you see that talks about, you know, conquering, you know, conquering kingdoms. So I'm getting kind of a conquering kingdoms kind of vibe. It's almost as if somebody wanted to come in and get a piece of the pie, piece of the action. And um, what that did is that um, 
I do get the sense that it's not con competition in the sense that somebody wants to dethrone you. I think you are still on your throne, but I do think that what it did is that it it brought in competition because the Nine of Wands is also one person. Uh, I'm sorry, Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is one person that has all of those cups. All of the cups belong to the one person. But what if somebody comes in and says, well, why don't you share those cups? Well, you know, I need some help. Why don't you give me some money, you know? So I'm definitely, I am also getting a family kind of vibe or, or someone that you would want to help um, financially. And what it did is it, it created a situation where it was more than just yourself right now you're juggling you're juggling two financial responsibilities and you see the water in the background and the ships going up and going down and so what it's caused is it's caused an up and down situation it's caused a situation where you it's not just you having so much having an abundance now it's you sharing that abundance with someone else and then you know you're 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 trying to balance it right you're trying to you know one minute you have more and the other person has less and then the next minute you give more and the other person has more and you have less and it the thing that it's doing is that with the hermit you know, the hermit is the person who pulls into himself. I think it, it has you in a position of questioning whether or not you want to continue this up and down, right? It's, it's making you question. You're saying, okay, how much longer do I want to do this? This situation, this situation where I'm giving and I'm, I'm getting up and I'm getting down, I'm getting up and I'm getting down, you know, you're, you're, you're starting to wonder, I'm getting a real financial vibe. I'm getting the sense that you're kind of supporting somebody and you're doing it you 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 got ahead in life and then someone in in your life has said I need help and you help them but now you're really thinking okay how long have I helped them you know the the hermit pulls into himself to evaluate a situation or evaluate where he's at and again, you're juggling, you're juggling money, you're juggling things that you value. And it doesn't just have to be money, you're, you're juggling something that you value. And I get the sense that the reason that you're turning within is because you do not want to juggle this much longer. You need to make a choice and you're going to have to go to battle to, to put one of those pinnacles down. You're going to have to go to battle and it, it is it's going to be it's going to be a conflict it's not going to be a bloody war but it is going to be like a you know um you, this could be on a small scale maybe maybe you have a child who you pay their phone bill and all of a sudden you're like well i need to teach you how to be responsible and i'm going to stop paying your phone bill and you've been paying their phone bill for a while <laughs> you know and you're like i don't want to do this anymore because you're of age and it will help you grow and um, but you know that the moment that you take that action, the moment that you stop juggling, it's gonna it's gonna cause pushback. It's gonna cause um, it's gonna cause a conflict. Now, the Page of Wands. The reason that I think this might be child related or family related is the Page of Wands really wanted to come out. It kept popping out, even though I kept trying to put it back. So that can be a very young person. Now, this could be your energy. It could be that you just want to be free and you don't want any responsibilities. You want to go back to your Nine of Cups life and being, you know, free spirited. Or this could be just like we said with the scenario with the cell phone. This could be a child. You know, it could be a child that you've been supporting. And it, again, it doesn't have to be with money, but it's you're supporting with something that you value. And, you know, if you didn't have that obligation, you'd be sitting really pretty right now underneath it which is kind of a theme of the situation is you got the three of wands and again we had a tarot not too long ago for this card and that's that person waiting for their ships to come in right it's the leader you're you lead by example and you are you're waiting for some kind of you're waiting for this event this the situation to and you, you're you're taking action to have this situation come to a conclusion but the thing next to it is that you got the seven of swords and you got the five of swords and that's another five and i'll be honest guys these two are not the prettiest cards in the world um I really get the sense that someone is either you're either not you are either 
like you are not telling you're keeping your thoughts to yourself like you might be trying to sneak away from this obligation and you you really are you're trying to get the upper hand um, the five of swords really is a, uh, um, it's it's a winner loser situation someone will be walking away de dejected and the other person will be crowing like they won so that's what I'm getting the sense, or maybe that could be your perception of the situation. Again, that might be why you're thinking so hard is because you're like, if I, if I jump into the fray of this battle, if I jump into this fray of this battle and say, I don't want to juggle anymore, you know, and it's almost like you're waiting for this to happen. You're waiting, you're waiting for someone to kind of betray you and, and there to be a, a very clear winner and a very clear loser. <laughs> and that's, that's some sad energy, but don't, don't despair. What I, I wanted to go through those, that interpretation first, so we could go into where I see this going, which is the future. And again, the future, and don't be afraid, there's no bad cards in tarot. And actually, you know, this layout, being under the hermit, um, even though you're afraid of some verbal, the other thing is that I'm getting a strong verbal vibe. I have a feeling that, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting the sense that if you go to battle and say, I don't want to do this, this, I don't want this obligation anymore, you are waiting, you're waiting for the, the, um, the person to verbally rip you apart. And I have a feeling that they'll try to do it publicly. They'll try to do it publicly. They'll try to make you look like you're you're sneaking out on them, and that you know I'm getting a strong s slander, verbal slander. And but I think that's what you're afraid of. I think that's what you're afraid of. That's why you're going into hermit mode, is because you do not want that to happen. So that might just be your fears, guys. This might just be fears that you're afraid that someone's either going to paint paint you out like that or someone's going to do that to you, that they'll sneak away and, you know, that you'll be the loser, they'll be the winner, or they're going to make you out like you, 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 like you did them dirty. Now, the outcome or the future is, and again, there are no bad cards in tarot. We read all of them together, but you've got the three of swords and you got the ace of cups and you've got it. You've got the cup underneath the three of swords. So the root of some heartbreak or the root of some some pain and again this is verbal this is more of that verbal that you're worried about there is going to be an ending there is going to be like the other thing is that I'm getting third party from this I'm getting third party we have two threes here um, but you know what I'm sensing is that you are going to fight that battle and it is going to cause it's going to cause a sting it's going to cause a sting it is going to cause a rift the and you're predicting that you you know that's probably coming but it is going to cause a sting i don't think that anybody is going to get verbally ripped apart with it but I, it is going to it is going to cause a rift it is going to hurt somebody pretty badly but the thing that the root of that though is you um, you are going to go back, and again, we have another cup, but this time it's one cup. You're going to go back to taking care of yourself, but you're going to do it in like a very sustaining way. Like the Ace of Cups can sometimes be a new love, but I'm not, I'm not seeing any couples here. So the way that I'm reading it in this spread is that I'm reading it as the cup is you. You're going to get it. This situation is messy. It's, there's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of verbal, there's a lot of backstabbing, there's potential backstabbing in this, and it is going to be, it's going to be a tough fix. This is not an easy challenge. It's going to be a tough fix, and someone is probably going to get, someone's going to be smarting. It's going to hurt, but that, that, you know, cutting it off, that, you know, stabbing the heart, it's going to give you a sense of self-respect and if you've ever had those situations in life where even though it might make you out to be the villain, you had to do what was right by you, right? Your, your self, it is a little bit of self-preservation because the hermit is also a very singular character. He's, he, he's, he's a hermit. He goes off on his own, right? But I do see that this, this situation by, by you fighting this battle 
it is, you know, it is going to leave somebody hurting, but there's going to be kind of a new, from, from that situation, there's going to be a new love, a new beginning. And I think it's a real self-love. It's going to be a self-respect that that's, that's the root of this. So I don't think that you would do this. You're not going to battle to purposely hurt anyone. But you, you got to do what you got to do. And, and again, with this being the cup being parallel to the two and it's going from two to one, I do think that you're going to you're going to you're going to do what you need to do, but you're going to be a lot more emotionally healthy after you do it. Right. You're going to be you're going to be continuing, you know, and you're not I don't I don't get a sense of you being selfish from it. I just think that it's I'm getting the sense like it's what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. But, all right, guys, so deck number two, that was your five of wands, again, with all the dragons. Ooh, I am also getting the sense, you know, that you might, you might have some dragons in your situation. Um, it might be all, all, bar all bark and no bite, but I don't know. I don't know. We got some breathing, fr breathing fire there. So that's the other thing I saw with the, the swords being verbal and breathing fire. Oh gosh, maybe that, that might be an interpretation of it too. All right, so deck number three, you got the Anna K tarot and we got your smoky quartz. So let's go ahead and see how does the four, can you see? <laughs> Let us see. How does the five, the five of rods manifest in your life right now? There's four cards here. That is the four of rods manifest in your life. wanted to come out a minute ago. Can I get one clarifier? Okay, we're seeing this. Oh, wow. It's the second time that the King of Swords has come out. All right, I got a story here, guys. I got one. Got one, got one. Hmm. So in the past, so the source, the source of, um, the source of this is definitely, I'm getting more of a relationship vibe with this pile. Um, I do think that this might be competition that you're feeling. Um, but what it is, is that in the past, you got the Two of Cups, which is that beautiful, you know, loving relationship card. And underneath it, you got the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Rods. So you got two pages, which is a lot of, it's, and again, the page of pentacles is that very earthy. Um, it's that very uh, durable, you know, let me, let me learn in the physical world. Let me, let me build a financial uh, base. And then the page of rods is that energetic, you know, let me go, let me do, let me explore, you know, it's, it's a very inner, um, energ um, energetic and uh, youthful energy and then underneath it you got the ace of swords so in the past I get the feeling like what it is is that in the past you you definitely had your eye on someone there was like kind of the beginning and again with pages they're beginners they're learners and the aces are beginnings they're the start of something but in the past you you met someone and then you you had the beginnings of something you felt really emotionally connected to someone i really get the feeling like you felt this person was the one right but it started off this is just a beginning because you had the two energies of the Page of Pentacles and the, eight, the Page of Rods. Now, first off, the Page of Rods is still is still a little bit. It's it's a younger energy, but it's still very. Um, it is still a little bit. Um, it's still a little bit sexual in its in its interpretation. What it is is that um, it's a little bit of a you know running around willy nilly kind of card, and. What I'm getting here is that you met someone that you felt a real attachment to and they, they got you all fired up. Like you really, you started, 
you you got far enough along it's almost like the beginning stages of getting to know this person but it really sparked something in you where you you started to think you know like look at the expression on this guy's face he's looking in her eyes like you are the bee's knees right you are the sun right so what it did is it started to get you thinking it got you all excited right it got you all excited you started you actually started planning things you started to say okay well you know I, I always the energy that I'm getting off this is you know like sometimes when you have a really great first date and you've been single for so long that after that really great first date you go home and you start thinking you start that little that little seed in your head goes well what what if I actually got a house with somebody right what if I what if I actually you know really put my true energy like my true focus into this one person and again because these are two pages and not you know not a knight or a queen or a king I don't think that you got really far along I think you started the process and you were again it was just that little seed of that excitement where you started to think about this working out and then right as you were you know getting excited and thinking about it you see with the ace of swords you see how the woman has her hand up like oh, stop you know keep your distance and she has the sword up now the ace of swords is um is mental is a is a mental breakthrough it means that you learned something or you saw something you got something about the situation and where and again this you can be a man or a woman watching this if you're a man watching this you started to really connect with someone where you 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 did you started to have those those small little thoughts about a future with this person and then all of a sudden the person put you know blocked blocked you like they just they verbally said no no don't come no further don't don't go any further than this you know and if you're a female if you're a woman watching this then what happened was you know um that possibly you started you started this really again the good the first date vibe where you really started getting exciting excited that's the other thing about the the page of of rods is that he it's like that you know when you're eager to get up in the morning because you got something great to look forward to it's that kind of unbridled enthusiasm and then the page of Pentacles is like the oh wow if 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 this starts going in the right direction maybe in six months to a year you know we we you know who my, my you know things will change you know my financial situation maybe I'm, I need to start considering joint finances with someone so again you're you're the things that you value and the, your energy you're you getting excited about something panning out um, but it, it came to a halt um, what I'm thinking is if you're the woman in the situation maybe you saw something the other thing is the the sword is is seeing something I really get the vibe as if maybe you saw something online or or maybe something that you heard about about this person or something they said um, some kind of knowledge was given to you something that you didn't know about was given to you and you just said okay full stop I can't go any further I, I have to nip this in the bud because we can't go any further you kind of blocked it there was a block and it was based on some kind of information that was given but it had a really it had a really energetic start and these are such look at how much sunlight look at how much uh, seriously guys if you can see this on the camera and I know this gives this gives look at how much yellow now as we go to the present um i think the you you are really challenged because i think there might have been a competitor here i think you have a rival i think in this pile this is a rival and again you could be a man or a woman watching it but the person that you thought was the bee's knees might have had someone else or they were dating several people at once so while you were looking at them kind of exclusively and again if if they were if they were still free agent you saw that and you said no i'm starting to catch feelings i'm not going to be in a third party situation and you 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 stopped it and again you see all this gold in the background um 
what, what we see next is we have the two of rods. And this, I actually used this card when we had a tarot. If you get a chance to watch it, it was just a few weeks ago. And again, this deck is great. But now you kind of don't know where to go. And I, I think it really did, it, it, it popped your balloon. I'm getting a deflated balloon feeling. I don't think it popped it, but it deflated it. And because, oh gosh, guys, and, and believe me, you have, my, my heart goes out to you because I know that feeling. I know that feeling, and especially when you haven't had, you haven't had that kind of thrill. I, I am getting a thrill, too. I'm getting an excitement, right? You were, you were, you were getting amped up in your head. When, and, and, and I know all of us, we try not to let ourselves get excited, right? Um, I've said in other videos, my, my best friend and I coined the, um, coined the phrase, the zoom. And you know, when you're young and a teenager and you fall for someone, you feel the zoom, it's like you're free falling. You just fall into it, right? And as you get older and you've been through a few relationships and you've been through a few, a few failed relationships, <laughs> then you don't, you don't let yourself zoom anymore. But this is total zoom. This is Zoomsville. <laughs> like you started feeling it like I could see a future with this person, right? And then, but I do think that you, t you took the practical approach. Again, the fact these are pages, you didn't let yourself get too far, but you did get excited. And when you, you set healthy boundaries, you set healthy boundaries, but now, and it's entirely possible that maybe, you know, maybe the other person got really excited about it and you, you put on the brakes that's possible but um when 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 things got halted and again i'm seeing boundaries here because this really gives me kind of a queen of swords Ooh, and later we get the king of swords ah synchronicity okay we'll get to that but um you know the fact that this is the ace and again she's kind of putting up her hand like halt you know stay there don't don't come any further that's what i'm hearing don't come any further um it put the brakes on the whole situation and I'm not seeing anything sudden, like I'm not seeing any tower moments here. And there's a lot, there's so much sunlight. So I just really feel like it was a good beginning. It was a strong beginning. There was strong att attraction. You cared about this person. You still care about this person, but you, you had to, you had to put up boundaries and it really disappointed you. And now you're just kind of like, you know, it's almost like that page of rods got that second rod and he's like, I don't know where to go now. I don't know where to go. And the other thing about this too is that underneath the two of uh, wands, you got the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, you see a woman, you see cups, and again, you see more of that silhouette of gold. And then you see Eight Cups and you see someone walking away. It's almost like she walked up and saw somebody in, in the light. Now, the other vibe that I'm getting here is that this might with the ace of swords i think it is i think you did see truth i don't think that anything like you know how you see in romantic comedies all the time you you know the the apex of the movie is always a misunderstanding where you thought that you saw your love interest with someone else and you really didn't and and the fact that this is a silhouette you can't really see but the fact that you see these two people don't they look like the same people right it has the gold in the background I just really get the feeling like there might there might have been a third party involved the crazy thing is I'm not even seeing a, th a three anywhere so I'm, I'm I'm beginning to wonder whether or not you just suspected that this person was not being exclusive with you or there was some information that you got that made you feel like you had a rival and instead of getting hurt, instead of falling into the Zoom because you're a smart person, I get the feeling like you're a very smart person. I think, I think you prioritize. The other thing is I'm not seeing, other than the Two of Cups, I'm not seeing, seeing and the Eight. Um, I don't see you as being real, real watery with your feelings. <laughs> like you're, you're not gonna, you're gonna prioritize your head over your heart and that you do that to protect yourself and that system works, but I do think that you kept this person at an arm's length because you saw something that you you were suspicious of so you didn't let yourself get too far and you protected yourself in it but you are disappointed you don't know where to go next it's almost like i'm getting the strong sense like you don't want to walk away from this person you don't want to walk away but you kind of have to 
you kind of have to to maintain your boundaries but i definitely think that you you feel like you feel like and i don't know if it's the truth or not you feel like you have competition like there's a rival here um you feel like you, you feel like you saw something that made you think that you have a rival and it's almost like you're you're feeling meh you 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 don't know if you should there you go you don't know if you should fight or walk away oh ding 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 you don't know if you should fight or walk away and honestly you're almost kind of and again with the the art of the card you're almost willing to you know plop down at the table put down your elbow and be like come at me you know you're you you really you do you want to fight for this you want to fight for this but you almost feel like it's a futile battle or you know you don't you don't know what to do and oh my gosh guys look at this too you the you see how i love this card because it has the up and down arrows look at that uh look if you go if you choose one way you walk away if you choose the other way you stay and fight there you go wow okay sorry sometimes it takes me a minute but yeah guys so right now that's where you are presently um now as we move forward um you got the seven of swords which is not the best most pleasant card and what that is is this is the sneaky pete card um it's the guy who's stealing the seven swords and sneaking out the window right so i get the feeling and and right next to it I wanted some clarification. I wanted some clarification and I got the King of Swords. And I'm glad I went for the clarification because the Seven of Swords, there are, there are no bad cards in tarot. We always read them together. But the Seven of Swords gets such a bad rap. It gets the rep of the person who's sneaking away like a, like a fox in the night, the dirty, dirty, you know, dirty villain, you know, moniker really gets applied but when you see the king of swords next to the seven of swords i get the feeling that this is your energy and again you were so invested you were so invested and you were devastated you were hurt and well not even these aren't even majors but you were seriously disappointed that this didn't work out you had a very strong glimmer of hope and that was completely dashed and now it's like fight or flee it's fight or flee, right? So it hits you, it did, it punched you in the feels. Let's be real, it punched you in the feels. And now you're like, you know, cause how do you, what, what, you know, what happens when you want to fight or flee? Some kind, something impactful, right? And again, you know, when you, when you discovered whatever information you discovered, you almost look like the queen of swords, right? You were like, okay, halt, stay away. And now I do get the feeling that moving forward, you're getting into a real king energy and the king of swords is an extremely brilliant person he's very smart but you see the way that he's kind of playing chess um i think moving forward you're going to play this like a game of chess like you are going to be very strategic with your moves and your goal and you might you might be very i'm getting a, a real poker face out of this like you are going to be completely it, there's going to be no hint of your feelings there's going to be no hint of your actions there's going to be no hint of any you're not going to show your hand at all because what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to make sure that whatever happens you get what you want out of the situation but I'm not seeing that in a real, I know this looks like a thief card, but I, I think what it is is that I think you're keeping your thoughts hidden because you want to protect yourself. You're keeping your thoughts hidden because you want to protect yourself. And you are, you're being strategic about this. Uh, the other thing that I'm getting is the fact that he's kind of sneaking in a window and then sneaking out with like, valuables and swords i think that you're really going to try to you're going to try to do a surveillance of this situation you're going to try to gather more information so you can make the best decision on how how to play this 
<laughs> how to play this out. But it is, you do want to fight, but it's almost like your version of fighting is playing this like a, like a strategy game. You're gonna play this like a strategy game. And I, I just get the feeling like, again, you know, the Seven of Swords, it's not, it's not a happy card. Many, many card readers don't like it. But to be honest, the vibe I'm getting is that you will not allow yourself to be the loser in this situation. And you are, you're putting, you're throwing all of your mental energy into making sure. I'm also getting a strong vibe that you do not want to look like a fool because you know, again, these are, look at how bright this is, guys. Look how bright this is. And then it just goes into gray. <laughs> and that, that breaks my heart because, and the other thing that I'm getting is that I do get a sense that maybe you might've been hurt. Again, you know how I was talking about, you know, not falling into the Zoom, you know? It's possible that maybe you really did have your heart on your sleeve with previous relationships and you got really, you know, you know, someone got over on you. So now you're just in a zone where you refuse to let that happen again. And that's understandable, that happens, that happens. But the one thing that I will caution with the Seven of Swords cards is that, you know, it, it is, you know, I know, I know in relationships that, you know, you don't wanna be the fool, you don't wanna be taken advantage of, but, this these two cards together is someone who is very very much up in their head and it and it does have a little bit of a cold connotation um so i would just caution that by all means you know protect yourself this is a this is a great depiction the ace of swords is excellent you know you don't have to wear armor you know to protect yourself she's not wielding the sword like she's going to stab anyone she's just holding it up and saying look you know, I'm gonna make sure that no one comes too close to me and do not come any further. Now, the other vibe too is that I might be getting a sense that these two people might be in the game. Like this might be, these might be you, you know, the people involved. And it, it is as if one of, one of you is going full tactical mode and the other one it doesn't have as much armor but i would just say you know again there's a lot there's a lot of mental force around this future and again you are treating it like it's a strategy game but you know if and i know when it comes to a uh, you know is, um concerns of the heart but you know the the purpose of of loving and being open with your heart is where you 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 don't have to be cut off you know you don't have to be hardened it, it isn't it isn't a game you know but um but i do see the future or i see i see the the and again this is the 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 way the five of rods is manifesting in your life is that you are going to go into competition and you are going to you're going to do it all mentally um so i i do get a sense that maybe you might be following what's going on online you're gathering facts oh that's the other thing you could be gathering facts and you might be doing it in kind of um and again this isn't a villain vibe this is I, I don't get a villainous feeling off this card in the spread. I think that you're gathering facts. You're gathering that, there you go. Okay, sorry, took me a minute. You're gathering facts on how you can go to battle. You're, 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 you're getting your strategy together. But I, I think that you, I think you don't have a lot of information about what's going on and you don't wanna go to the table blind. But I do think you're almost a little too overprepared um, maybe you're checking out, uh, you're gathering a lot of information <laughs> and you're doing it in the, in, in the stealth of night. Um, so you might have people giving you information or you might, you might, there might be some way that you're getting this online because the other thing is swords or thoughts and it really does mean social media. Um, but yeah, you're getting, you're getting your game plan together. If anything, you haven't, you haven't physically come to the table yet, but you're planning to and you're, you're, you're gathering information, so, so, but your goal is to win this game. You, it's almost by sheer mental force, you're gonna win. 
but I hope that helps guys if this resonates please let me know and wow gosh I just need a, another second to look at how warm your cards are that really is you know I'm feeling I feel this it's it's really beautiful but I, well, again, I hope this helps. I hope it's something that you enjoyed. Uh, the How to Tarot's do run a little bit longer, but, um, but if, if this is something that you enjoy, I would be very honored if you would like, comment, and subscribe. Um, next, uh, this, the next post that I will do this week is on Saturday with the weekly energy card reading. I hope you can stop back by then, and I'll catch you later. Bye.